I'm Danielle. My name is Katie. Natalie. Ashton. <laughs> yes. That's Jim. I'm Jim the Confused Owner. No, that. I... I have no idea. Do you want to be with us? Oh my yes! All right, come on over. I've always wanted a yes man. Nice to I'm meet you. Sarah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Ah, yes. This is perfect for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm Mark Secchio, and this is Silva. Welcome back to The Silent Cue, everybody. I'm here today with Jim Case from Pebble Creek Produce, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about mushrooms. As you can see, I'm ready for it. Jim, how are you today? I'm doing groovy, how are you? And what would you like me to call you, Silva Fox, Silva Wolf? Oh man, you can call me like your mushroom man. Mushroom man, all right, <laughs> I like that. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How'd you get started in mushrooms? Years ago, I started studying mycology online through Clemson University as a hobby. Shop. It just grew into Shop this. Mind. Shop mine? You got a shop mine? I got a shop mine? Yeah, you sure oh, do. Oh man, yeah, you should see my mushrooms. So we grew from doing about 50 pounds a week uh, with a small laboratory, actually in my basement. Oh my God. And then now uh, we do uh, about 1,500 pounds here a week we grow. So and you're like a mad scientist. I used to be. What kind of mushrooms would someone eat if they needed to relax? Well, it would not be our kind of mushrooms. That would be more of your psilocybin. Tangela oh, Renee Fellows Act, yeah, act Normal. Act Looking Normal. For actually for chefs. Jim. Yes. Let's get down to real business. Let's do it, Tangie. Where can the general public find your mushrooms? They can find them at all of our, all of our restaurants locally from Grand Rapids along the lakeshore from Muskegon all the way down to Saugatuck. All right. And then if you're over on the... Are you sniffing me again? And, uh, <laughs> you gotta ignore him. We're all ignoring him. And then, uh, For the love of Pete, oh my God, are these kicking in right now? All right. His well lips are moving. Toledo, what is he saying? Okay, pay, pay attention, Act Normal. Wow, so you've grown quite a bit from uh, basement mushrooms to correct. one farm and another farm. That's now, correct. What's your favorite dish that a chef has made you? There are so many. I mean, truly, the the chefs in Grand Rapids have learned to become very creative with our, with our different species. Yeah. And so, we are so grateful to them, honestly. I mean, they've put my kids in college. I mean, we owe the chefs everything in this community, truly. And we give back every opportunity we have. Yeah, you are, you're all about family and community here. Absolutely. You got a great yes. team yep. that we got to meet earlier. They're a younger group of people, and I just absolutely adore them. It's just fun. They just give me a lot of grief, and yeah. it's beautiful, man. They're, I've got all daughters, so it reminds me of having a bunch of my kids I running around. That. You can tell there's a lot of love here. It is all about love, truly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then mushrooms are just magical in general. Mushrooms grow with love. They're they like do. any other plant. Yeah, you know, talk if you show to your plant love. Yeah. You talk to oh my God. Are these kicking in right now? I'm feeling tingly. What I like to do when I eat mushrooms is I eat a little vitamin C. Oh, yeah. You know, it really Absolutely. boosts your mushroom intake. Yeah, so mushrooms are full of obviously wonderful nutrition. Most vegan vegetarians find their nutrition yeah. through the use of organic gourmet mushrooms. We grow between both farms about 350 pounds a week of just lion's mane. That's actually one of my favorite dishes. Uh, going back to that, lion's mane crab cakes. Mm. Yes, because it's vegetarian. Lion's mane, if you put a little amami with it, tastes identical to crab meat. How do you think we can incorporate silver with your farm? I assume we're going to oh. buy our, all our mushrooms from you. Yep, I'd be grateful for that, truly. Because uh, obviously you've met the family here working, yeah. so you're supporting so our family. Cool. We do a wonderful job of supporting people who support us. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of wine and mushroom pairings and mm. dinners. Where literally what we do is we bring in all the people at your event, mm -hmm. we bring them in a grow block, and they go home with a grow block oh, how fun. to grow their own mushroom. We're so passionate about teaching people. So you're going to go about in the depth of this, but it's about an inch. Is an inch big, Jim? You know what? In some places it is. Now I'm exhausting all the air. You set it down on a piece of cardboard. You're going to keep it lit, even if it's a lamp. Spray it three times a day with mist. In a matter of a couple weeks, you'll start seeing it pin and then a mushroom's gonna come out. And then when you're done with it, if you have a small garden, take this block, crush it up, because it's some of the best fertilizer you'll ever use for a garden. It's a great way of giving back to the, uh, the community, so yeah. Well, we look forward to it, and we are so excited to be here today. And thank you so much. Great thank to have you. Thank you so much you. for having us. We're just oh, ecstatic. Wonderful. I love your guys' energy, man. This is cool. We love so. yours. 
guys want to see the first part of the process. This is what we call our uh, grow room. So after we inoculate our mushroom bags, we leave them in this room and they essentially just sit and grow out in the bags. You can see that these ones here, they've got a ton of the white mycelium on them. So they're almost ready to be taken to the next step. But in here, we just let the mushrooms sit, do their thing. We keep it very temperature and humidity controlled so that kind of mimics the natural environment. When the mycelium is really white, that means that they're colonizing really well and they're almost ready to go. So over on this side of the room is where we have all of the mushroom grow bags building out and colonizing. And over here is where we store all of our spawn. So um, Danielle, our biologist, she's the one who creates all the spawn. So this is what Danielle does. This is her finished product. And let's go see her in her lab. So this is uh, the lab where Danielle makes all of her spawn. We'll go in and see everyone in here. How are you today? Good. How are you? Welcome to your lab. Thank you. Thank you. And this is your main scientist, right? Yeah. She's telling us all about her spores. Uh huh. And she's got some good goodies right here. Some yeah. agar plates and my master's plants. Oh my god, I've seen a specimen in something like that before. You know? <laughs> yeah. Wondering when these are going to kick in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the ones I ate earlier. Yeah. 45 minutes? Okay. Is my hair looking? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, my God. What are these little moist packets? Chip, take a whiff. Chip, get out of there. Yeah. It's fine. Sarah, what's going on in Wait, there? Wait, what is this? How, oh how big is this? Is this like in I'm milliliters or? Right now, you know? No, oh, milliliters. fuck. They're starting, to, they're starting to kick in. Is this big? Um, it depends. Right. I feel like it's big. I wouldn't feel like it's... Wow. Ask Sarah. <laughs> no! What are these? Those are auto plants. And what, what um. do you do? Um, I use them to sterilize these oats that I've soaked overnight. And then okay. I sterilize them and I put mycelium in them. And it will colonize the whole bag. What color is mycelium? Mycelium? It's yeah. white. Oh my god. What's inside of it? What is celium? Mycelium? <laughs> Mycelium. Oh, it's one word. Yeah. Not yours. Mycelium. Yeah. Oh, it's mycelium. Yeah. Is it yours or mine? It's mine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, this is the room that we grow all of our mushrooms in. Oh, wow. See, got a couple different oyster mushrooms. That's a golden oyster there. What are these little cute pink babies down here? Those are simply called a pink oyster. Oh, they're so cute. Super scalloped oysters right here. And you can kind of see too, like, how they develop. So those are really small pins. And then it gets a little bit bigger. How long does it take to turn into this? How many days? For oyster mushrooms, so when you bring them into this room, it'll take you about a week and a half to get the full mushroom that's ready to pick. Okay. Like this one here. That one's ready. Oh my god. Oh, so satisfying. Oh yeah, you love them. She's gonna grab some trays, Kip. Are you so excited right now? Oh my god, Kip. So you're growing cauliflower also? Oh, that's lion's Oh my god, I've been told I have one too. You go to pick them, I always like to put my one hand on top of the block to keep it steady, and then yep. other hand at the bottom and just yank it off. You got this, Tange. Oh my you god. got this, Tange. You can do it. Harder, harder. I can't shut you can't. up. Kip, I swear to god. Is this your first time? Yeah. You're getting it. Wow. Oh. Tange oh. for the win. Oh my god. That's. Oh I love god. this smell of pink oyster. Ugh. Told, oh. oh my god. Gentle until it's not. Ooh, you know? that brown beauty smells real good. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. This is very satisfying, Katie. Isn't it? I yeah. can spend hours in here just taking my I bet you do. I do. That's like a week and a half from... Yeah, on average. Wow. And then in the room where they're building out in the bag and colonizing, that takes um, on average about three weeks. Our quickest species is going to be lion's mane. From start to finish, that's about two and a half weeks. The ones that take the longest are going to be these namikos here, as well as chestnuts, and those can take about nine weeks. I love this. Thank I've you heard so that much. Uh, mushrooms grow in shit. Do you 
No. No. They certainly can't. And there's a lot of places that do grow mushrooms using that okay. those techniques. We are all organic. We do not deal with any sort of poop. Um, poop is organic. That is true. Oh. That is true. You don't know what they're feeding the cows, though. That's yeah. true. We use all for our substrate. It's all grown on a mixture of water, soybean, and wood pellets. We're going to have owner Jim give a smell test to these three lovely contestants. We have Tangi. We have our new yes man. And we have Kip, the master smeller. All right, Jim, if you want to step on up. Let me smell that. Oh, Jim. Yes. We just met. Ooh, that's a winky paper dunkle. Oh, this reminds me of that time in Vegas. Is that a pink oyster? That hurt. Oh, okay. That smells like um, Tofrigo mushrooms. Ooh, that's a flummerdack thunderkunch. Hmm, that reminds me of my time in Japan. Is that an Amico? It is. When were you in Japan? I uh, am an international traveler, as you know, Tanji. <clears throat> He's got such secret lives. Mmm, that smells like, you know, the little white mushrooms you get at the grocery store? My dad told me not to eat them in the yard, but he did. And that's a floor-standing big branch. That's a lion's mane. Come on, how can you not smell that? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, it smells like, oh, sh I think those are kicking in. Sarah! Mm, yes, that's a French Victorian mushroom cap, for sure. Yes, this is definitely giving me uh, France vibes. Uh, I'm going golden oyster. Oh, I feel like I had one of those earlier. Hmm, Tuesday night. Mm -mm, I've smelled this in bars all across America. Uh, peanut butter pretzel. Every time, every time he wins. I can't even see anymore. Where are my sunglasses? I know, can you believe it? It was just... <sighs> yeah, we should. We should go out there and run around because it's going to be so fun. I saw a bunch of little dandelions. They kind of look like mushrooms, too. This is amazing! Oh, yeah! Okay! Oh, my God! Oh, that feels so good. Oh, finally, I'm melting into the abyss. Oh, this finally kicking in! Woo! Yeah! Woo! I love mushrooms! Yes! Oh my god! Oh god, I gotta find Sarah. She left me here. I knew she would! Oh!